Meet Daryl Davis. He has a closet full of KKK member outfits. But they're not his own. They used to belong to now former Ku Klux Klan members that he single-handedly convinced to give up their robes. How did he do it, you ask? Daryl has been a pianist for most of his life. In 1983, he was playing at a bar where he was the only black man present. After he finished performing, an older man came up to him. The man said to Daryl that he had never seen a black man who could play like Jerry Lee Lewis. Davis chuckled. He then explained that Jerry Lee Lewis was influenced by the same black boogie woogie and blues piano players as he was. The older gentleman couldn't believe it. Daryl then continued to tell him that Jerry Lewis was actually a good friend of his. The man could not believe that either. But he was fascinated. The listener invited Daryl for a drink. After they sat down, he confessed, You know, this is the first time I ever sat down and had a drink with a black person. Daryl became curious and asked why. The attendee explained that it was because he was a Ku Klux Klan member. That got Davis laughing. He thought, KKK members don't buy drinks to black men. Then the man reached into his pocket, he took out a wallet and pulled a Klan membership card. Daryl's laugh immediately turned silent. Yet the story of how he met a clan member for the first time in his life does not yet explain how he was able to convince so many of them to give up their ways. My favorite story of how he did it is this one. In one of many Daryl's adventures, he ended up with a clan member sitting in his passenger seat. When Davis asked the member what made him dislike black people, he answered, Well, we all know that black people have within them a gene that makes them violent. Daryl turned to him as he was driving and said, Wait a minute. I'm as black as anybody you've ever seen. I have never done a carjacking or a drive-by. How do you explain that? The man didn't even pause for a second to think about it and said, Your gene is latent. It hasn't come out yet. Daryl found himself dumbfounded. He did not have any immediate response. Meanwhile, his passenger sat proud of himself, smiling. He told Davis, See, you have no response. Yet after a moment, a response came. Daryl turned back to him and answered, well, we all know that all white people have a gene within them that makes them a serial killer. The passenger was confused and asked, what do you mean? Daryl answered, well, name me three black serial killers. The clan member thought about it and could not do it. Davis then said, Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer, Charles Manson, John Wayne Gacy, all whites. Son, you are a serial killer. The man responded, Daryl, I've never killed anybody. Then Daryl answered, your gene is latent. It hasn't come out yet. Well, that's stupid, the KKK member said. Well, duh, yes, Daryl continued. But you know what? You're right. What I said was stupid, but no more stupid than what you said to me. After that, the passenger got very, very quiet and changed the subject. Five months later, he left the clan. His robe was the first robe Daryl ever got. Once asked to explain how he changed so many KKK members, Daryl explained. You challenge them, but you don't challenge them rudely or violently. You do it politely and intelligently. And when you do things that way, chances are they will reciprocate and give you a platform. So he and I would sit down and listen to one another over a period of time. And the cement that held his ideas together began to get cracks in it. And then it began to crumble. And then it fell apart. Did you know that once a Pokemon episode sent hundreds of people into epileptic seizures? If you're interested to know why, click on this box right here. Thank you for watching this critical thinking story. Until next time, I wish you to keep questioning.